push each other too, cool. right? Like, uh, my question, I guess, is how well, well is born. John Ding going to be able to try to navigate the minefield of the forward four? You know, we know that Eddie's backwards movement is really strong, yeah. but his side movement, not so much. So, exactly, what can he do in this range right here to be able to try to force some of those handstands, force some of those relax mix-ups? And then on the other side, how's CBM going to deal with it? That's one way right there. Toss your ass off this balcony. <laughs> Clear this wall. Let's get it. So one of the things I guess in the match is going to be Jin's back two, I feel. It's going to really, I think it's going to hit Eddie out, out mm. a lot of his stances. The run up hell sweep just to get the clear to stage. Just short of the wall here. You got that back two. Oh, now this is going to connect. Yeah. Definitely not. Probably going to, not even up the life lead, is going to give him a strong position. Going to put CBM just inside rage? Yes. yes. Gets the rage. Needs to be very careful. Now just for a while standing for. Or just while standing for. Why just, not? Or just while standing for, man. No, no mix up. <laughs> Nice block. Ooh, so that win. Interesting just out, just out of range just for Austin. Range, yeah. Probably something that um, CBN needs to remember for later on. And that's credit to John Ding's basic too. He yeah. identified that range where he could do that to The Hell Sweep again. Really initializing that mix up. Yeah, CBM getting good return off of lows here. This entire first game. And now nice. back to one. That man is so good with Jim. Strong, Strong with punish. Yes, yeah, CBM up two rounds. Pretty quick as well. Looking quite comfortable here. You gotta imagine motivation running really high for CBM too, man. Had a really close set versus Loha. You know how badly he wants to win that one. Yeah. You saying against. that he's never really won against Loha, so it feels like he keeps getting closer and closer, right? But just can't get over it. You gotta get over John Ding now to get to this top eight. Both of these guys fighting for points on the leaderboard too. John Ding has to get at least top eight to get any points today. Ooh. Nice catch him with the side or relax. I like the way he stopped the combo then. Don't try that it was off axis. Yeah. That's all. That's important, right? That's spatial recognition. Yeah. This isn't going to complete. I have to put the brakes on it, try to go for neutral again. There Hell sweep at the wall. Both are in rage. Need to be very careful. Rage drive. Oi, that was Ooh. a parry. There we go. Just play. Oh, and that's a big whiff there from CBM. Yeah, the recovery time. But he, went the, he let the whole back 2-1 rip. I don't know if he's looking for a trade yeah. at the range or what. Probably wanted him to kind of run in. Mm. Get kicked by the second hit. Good adjustment cool. for John Ding, though. Yeah, using nice. that forward four. CBM was one of the first players I saw use that forward four so well. You know he used the move so well when he gets nerfed. Yeah, I mean, contrary to what the Twitch chat has to say, right? The cool thing about Jin is his self-expression. The characters, that the players that play him at the highest level, they all emphasize different aspects of his tool set. Cherry Berry Mango to me is about neutral control, especially use yeah. of, like, like you said, 4-4, four, four, right? Definitely for great nice. side there, Shredders. Off the double lift kicks. Not going to get the wall there. Stance three misses. Get back 2-1. Be very careful of race drive. Yeah, just trying to keep it as risk minimal as possible. There we go. Oh, nice. Oh, nice parry. So ready for their CBM taking the first game. This is the loser side. So loser does go home. That's big. Now, John thing, man, if, if you're him, I mean, dude, it would be brutal to go out at ninth place at this tournament, especially if you've gotten this far. That's going to put it on him. I mean, he's, he's got to put something together this game and, and at least make top eight here. Yeah, because you're looking at the leaderboards. He's, he's if he goes team, out, if yeah. he goes out right here, he doesn't get anything for this entire tournament. No, which I says know. a lot considering the level of play that we've seen here, right? In the matches that he's had to play, just to even get this far. Yeah, looking at his in twentieth, just teetering, just out. He's tied with Honey right now. He's tied with Honey. When Honey yeah. is in the winner's side, so he, he definitely needs to get. Yeah, position. Honey is at this point. If I mean, if Honey wins two more games, then you're you're gonna see two Pakistanis. You're gonna see well, two Pakistanis well. in second, second, most towards top nineteen. So we're getting straight back into the CBM yeah, star low. One game up. Just using that back three. Okay, big count hit. Doesn't dash up, doesn't get the combo. Wasn't confident there. He gets the wall anyway. Big damage. Yeah, still able to get a decent pick up there. And good wall control. Nice. So he identified it with. Went for the down four to get yeah, the That's good hit. spatial recognition from John Dick. Nice. Look at his backwards movement. And he's just back dashing oh, on out of there. Eddie's movement is so good. Okay, here we go. Spencer Rage Drive. Up here. Okay, back to one there. Just keeping it nice and safe. That move is so good. That, it's such a good move to end the round with as well. Safe, mid, yep. got great range. That's the thing. Yeah, the deceptive range. Yeah, very. Here we go. Down four, two. Yeah, John, they're going to get the walls of reward here. Okay, what's the mix up now? Put some plus frames on him. Down back four. That's something else too, right? The interactions after down back four on hit. Seeing what Cherry Baron Mango wants to do. He wants to press again, go low. Poke mid. But that move is so crunching. It's like gives you a, the advantage that makes yep. your player want to no one to press a button. That's why for you as a defender, it's important. You know, like what are you gonna do after that? Mm. You willing to back dash? You willing to just hold standing guard? What are you gonna do? Just dash up in his face. I like that patience. Okay, very patient. Now just rising his time against the count here. That should be the round here. Definitely is. Dashes right into a hook fist. 
Yeah, it was great timing it from and, CBM. And yo, set point, Cherry Berry Mango. He's looking very comfortable in a minute. But John Ding not out just yet, but here we go. Side step 3 yeah. plus 4. Okay, identified that the combo was off axis. Dropped. And I like that. Good guard from Cherry Berry Mango. Just taps him on out of his uh, relax. Yeah, that was a big whip from the energy. Oh, low power is so ready there. Great read from CBM. Nasty, nasty Cherry Berry Mango. Leaving it up on life. 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, back to. That's, that's why that move is so good in this match. It just hits Eddie out of relax. It's consistent as well. He just dashed up in his face, trying to get a read on John Link's timing. He gets Counter a counter hit. And the pickup. Nice. He goes, gonna get the wall. Yeah, gets the wall. Side wall. So identify that and switch up the combo. John Link, you in trouble. He's in definite trouble, but does have rage. Rage drive spent, though. What's the mix up? Goes for the low. Just dashes up down by four. CPM looking so comfortable there. Man, John Ding out in ninth place here. CBM, awesome performance. Being able to what? Punch his ticket for top eight, lose his side? That's yeah. a big.